art fairs invade New York City every March, but the show that's at the top of nearly every art lover's list is the Armory Show. This is the 23rd year of the Armory Show. It was started by gallerists who were looking for a way to uh, showcase some new art and artists of the time. What originally began in a few rented hotel rooms has since expanded to two New York City piers with 210 galleries from around the world. This is an absolutely massive fair and it feels very uniquely New York. It has the feel of being a melting pot much like the city is. Organizers describe the show as a platform for discovery. You are going to see something here that you haven't seen anywhere else. There's no other fair I know of that has a piece like this fabulous Kusama behind me, um, taking a town square and creating a really wonderful experience. The element of discovery also extends to newer galleries and artists in a specially dedicated section called Presents. Gallerists like Omaira Alvarado, who traveled from Bogota, Colombia, come for the chance to showcase their artists on the New York stage. For us, uh, the type of gallery we are, we need the international market. So basically most of our collectors are Europeans or North Americans. For some, the Armory Show is also an opportunity to escape political unrest. P Artworks is based in Turkey. Unfortunately, these days, it's not the same. Stores are closing down. People do not come as often as they used to. Not the case here at the Armory Show, where the constant stream of visitors translates to numerous business opportunities. That's why I like the Armory, too. You make good business, so <laughs> that's, that's a good thing for us. Good business and good art. The Armory Show, in the end, is quintessentially New York. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.